What up, what up, world? This your homeboy, Wordplay TJ, and I'm back with another video for you. This time around, I'm going to talk about updates to the Sound Exchange spreadsheet. Stay tuned. All right, so there's been updates to Sound Exchange catalog spreadsheet, and so I'm going to hop to my computer and show you what those updates look like. Okay, so here we are at my computer screen. Um, over on the left side is the 2018 spreadsheet, and over on my right side is the 2019 spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go through here and show you some of these changes as best as I possibly can. Just a reminder, how you get your spreadsheet for Sound Exchange, um, you log in to Sound Exchange Direct. If you don't already have a Sound Exchange account, I urge you to watch my video on that. I'll, I'll show you how to get that, and then I'll show you how to upload your catalog and other videos. But be sure to watch, um, like maybe the 2018 version, and then in this version, you can get how that 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 spreadsheet has changed. But to get the new spreadsheet, you got to go to my catalog. You'll go to submit new and then you'll select your account you go to upload new and then you want to download the repertoire submission form like i said before the submission form has merged together so there's no submission form for the artist side and there's no submission form for the uh, rights owner side that's separate now they're all together the artist and the rights owner goes on the same spreadsheet and then you upload all of that information together. It's kind of organized in a way where Sound Exchange knows the difference between the two. Um, so, uh, looks like on the first column, the artist column, that nothing has really changed. Uh, the only thing that you would need to do is if you have an artist that is featured on a song like here, you would need to include that featured artist. So as we're going through, um, so the featured artist claim is pretty much the same. It um, it came after the record label claim, but um, it hasn't changed all of that much. So let's keep going. So knowing that none of that has changed, let's go over to the next one. So we'll go over to recording title. I think most of the changes have to do with um, the country that you're in and country information because i think that was getting confusing for some people and so um yeah i think that's the the biggest thing that's changed if you see any discrepancies between the two spreadsheets for me that's only because uh some of my songs have been pulled out of my catalog um i've condensed uh down my my catalog quite a bit um only because i didn't want to have any legal issues in the future and so yeah i just rather uh, avoid some of those some of those problems and um i felt like a, a refresh was was due so there's not too many changes between recording titles um what about the isrc isrc hasn't changed that much um here's the first change that i noticed okay so the record label section is gone and has moved to a different position in the new spreadsheet for 2019 and so you're gonna have to pay attention to that and move all of that information to your new spreadsheet so as i'm going through looking for uh subtle changes i really don't see that much that has changed outside of the release label not being in two positions on this this spreadsheet there's also a section for configuration so if it's a cd a dvd the disc number and also the track number has moved to the end of the spreadsheet so other than that the biggest change has been the movement of the record label change and then you have a list of country codes i assume that's because uh a lot of people were putting in their country codes and they weren't giving the right country information. And so um, I went through the list, made sure that all of my stuff was correct and mine's is right. I'm in the United States, so it's going to be US, USA. But if you're anywhere else in the world, be sure to check this last tab that says countries and uh, check your spreadsheet. All right, so that is it. That is all I got for the Sound Exchange catalog spreadsheet update. 
Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section. I appreciate all y'all for watching this video. And until next time, it's your homeboy Wordplay TJ. Peace. All right, so I know you came to watch this channel just to see this video, just to get this problem solved. What I do urge you to do is subscribe to this channel right over there. And then there's more videos on this page right now.